Hello there, all you lovely children. Would you like to come with me on an exciting journey? What? You want to know who am I? I am the nature fairy. I know many interesting facts and facets, secrets and mysteries of nature. Come on, let me show you some. Let's go inside my garden. Isn't it very beautiful? Have a look at the wide and open sky above. What is flying there? Seems like a bird. Which bird? Yes, it is a pigeon. And there, on the other side, a group of swans is gliding through the air. And there, there is a naughty crow. Look, he has flown down and is now perched on that big tree. However, the crow is not alone on that tree. Who is hiding within the leaves? A monkey. Haha, <laughs> look at the funny faces he is making. Now look at that squirrel. It hops and skips and runs up the trunk of the tree to finally settle high up on a branch. And who's perched upon the other branch? A sparrow. Don't focus all your attention up and above. Look down on the ground too. Don't step on any creature while walking. Observe the ants. Where do you think they are going carrying all their food? And look, here's an earthworm. Thoroughly engrossed in his job of making the soil fertile. Isn't all of this wonderful? Let me now take you to a pond. Who all can you see here? Two buffaloes are merrily bathing in the pond. That bird just flew down and perched upon one of the buffaloes. Do you think this bird and that buffalo are friends? A little farther, a crane is balanced on one leg. Why is the crane standing like this? You are right, it is calmly waiting to catch a fish. Fishes, after all, dwell in water too. All these animals are so majestic, isn't it? Dear children, did you notice one thing? Some animals fly, some crawl, some walk and some hop. Some animals have a tail. Some have a trunk and some have wings. Where do these animals live? Like we just observed, some live in trees, some in the grass, some reside in water while some live on land. Some animals, in fact, live in our homes too. Can you name a few animals which live in our homes? You are right! Dogs, cats, parrots, and many other animals are close friends of humans. These are also called pet animals. There are a few more animals which inhabit our house, though without our permission or our liking. For example, mice, lizards and cockroaches. Now, observe the animals given on the screen. Do you know their names? This is an ant. This is a mouse. This is a chick. This is a rabbit, this is a monkey, this is a tortoise, this is a snake and this is an elephant. Children, did you notice the size and shape of each animal is different? Some animals are small and some are very big. Look at this mouse. Can you name an animal smaller than a mouse? An ant and an animal bigger than a mouse. Yes, a rabbit. And bigger than a rabbit? A goat. And bigger than a goat? A buffalo. Now, can you guess which is the biggest land animal in the world? The one with big flappy ears and a long trunk. An elephant. There is such fun in making friends with nature. Shall we now try to draw some animals? Let's first make a butterfly. Make two lines like this. Then make impressions with your thumb. Two like this and two like this. There, the butterfly is ready. Using the same technique, you can make a peacock, a dog, a parrot, etc. So dear children, there are many different animals in the world. Today, we tried to make friends with a few. Some animals fly in the sky, some dwell in the trees, some live on land and some in water. These animals also have different appearances. Some are small, some big and some very big. 
Some have wings, some have trunks, and some have a tail. Some animals fly, some crawl, some walk, and some hop. Some animals live in our homes too. Few of these are pets, and few are uninvited guests. All different, all unique, but all live in harmony in nature.